Hello YouTube, this is Tattooed Alex on a beautiful Sunday morning, uh, a little bit cloudy today. Uh, about 7.15 this morning, I'm headed to my brother's. We're going to go for a uh, ride up to the mountains, I think up to Mount Evans today, maybe stop by Echo Lake, uh, take a couple pictures up there and kind of hang out. We're, uh, we're supposed to get some rain later this afternoon, so I've got to keep an eye on weather and uh, make sure we're not uh, going to hit any of that rain that usually comes from the uh, comes from the west so hopefully uh, we're good to take a ride it's still kind of early uh, not much traffic out so as we like to go a little bit early to avoid some traffic uh, although it shouldn't be too bad today i think the high is only supposed to be 82 uh it's been really warm it's been in the uh mid uh, 90s about the last week so uh Usually whenever it's real warm, a lot of people head up to the mountains, kind of cool off. So uh, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad heading up there today. But we uh, Last week, my brother and I took a ride down to uh, Colorado Springs on uh, the back way. It's called uh, uh, Highway 83, a real scenic uh, uh, ride down there. And unfortunately, I was having problems with my scene with the connection. So uh, uh, I didn't uh, do any recording and uh, the intercom my brother and I did work, work real well till that I didn't realize it and I haven't checked the connection not sure what happened with that so uh, I had a setting in there I did change so hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, hear them today on there uh, I think it was like a switch that said uh, intercom like during recording so so hopefully you guys will hear that so we'll have a little bit of a dual modal block today so all right, guys, well, I will uh, check back in here shortly. Hey, guys, a little change of plans. We were uh, headed up the mountain and uh, got hit with a, uh, with a little bit of uh, rain. So uh, we decided to cut through uh, Central City Blackhawk to the casino town that uh, we went through a couple of weeks ago just because the uh, last thing we want to do is get hit, uh, hit with a bunch of rain and stuff. And, Especially being in the mountains, already a little bit dangerous riding, and then uh, not to mention get hit with the rain and some, you know, with the oil spots and slippery roads. So we decided to go ahead and uh, just cut through here, cut our ride short a little bit. Uh, now we're taking the chance of uh, going through a ton of rain. So, but so guys, well, I will uh, check in here a little bit later again. Take care. Hey guys, we're still riding through one of the canyons here, and uh, pretty scenic, so I figured I'd turn the camera back on. Looks like there's a guy down there fishing with some waders on. We kind of cut through uh, across to get back to the highway. We didn't go down the same way as last time. It looks partial, so... tunnels here through the mountains <clears throat> yeah not quite as uh, as nice as last time we went through here because it's a little bit cloudy but uh, looks like uh, further down we got uh, it's not uh, sprinkling as much as it was it actually stopped sprinkling completely so we just pulled over uh, a couple minutes ago to get a little drink of water and uh, checked out the uh, the radar app and it does show some weather uh, out west so we're definitely glad we turned around because we did not want to get into that uh, water looks like uh, I imagine it's pretty chilly there but uh, uh. hey bro you've never you've hiked around here but you've never gone fishing right no I haven't yeah. the hiking is beautiful but yeah. the, uh, never fished yeah, I remember that time we came out years ago before, what year was that? Probably maybe 98 or 97 when we came out here. Yeah, that sounds right. To visit, yeah, that we went, that we crossed one of the uh, the creek and went up the mountain. I remember taking our shoes and socks off and that water was ice cold. That was beetle. Yeah, I said a little bit of cloud cover, so not quite as nice as a couple of weeks ago when we came up, but still can't complain, still a beautiful ride. Uh, here it is, left to 70, alright, east, so... Yeah, for those of you that like, like to uh, follow along on a map, Blackhawk is uh, on 70 west, 
and then you'll see Central City Blackhawk up, uh, I think it's up 6th Avenue. If you follow that along, you'll see that's where those casino towns are at. 119. One, okay, 119. There's a couple of fishermen right here. have to wait till uh, another weekend when the weather is uh, a bit nicer uh, to head up to Mount Evans and uh, uh, Echo Lake and take some pictures and a motor vlog up there. Not worth it with uh, some weather coming in. Definitely a scenic ride though. I went for a short ride yesterday in my usual uh, out east on the plane, so, which I enjoy also, but uh, definitely if I have a preference, uh, I would rather head up to the mountains when I can. Yeah, right. I've done this many, many times back in the day when I worked up here. Did you? Now, this oh. was on that, uh, on that motorcycle? Uh, yeah, I did it on the bike, too. Yeah. You know, you just kind of break it up. This was a way to get away from that, about from the traffic going down the mountain when you get off work. You yeah. know, and it's really busy. This is just another way to do it because Central City Parkway did not exist back then. Yeah, that's worked. true. Yeah, it was awesome when they built that because the the canyon, man, that's a little. It's not bad, but it get a lot of traffic, and man, it's sometimes one way up, pain. one way down. Yeah. You get, you get people, you know, I mean, then, then you get people drinking and driving, but yeah. it's very dangerous. Yeah, Central City Parkway is a lot straighter. It doesn't, doesn't have as, the turns aren't as bad, so it's uh, definitely a lot, a lot nicer. I'm telling you, I've never been on there where there was a ton of traffic. Yeah. You know, I've been there when there's, a, you know, cars. Sure, yeah, I know, know, but never backed up the way it used no, to be on the no, canyon. Backed up shit. That'd I think, be a bitch. Yeah, that imagine would. Imagine riding up. Woo, that's some dedication. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that guy's pedaling like crazy, man. Oh, man. I think that's 70 up on the right, isn't it? Yeah, it just runs parallel, too. So yeah. yeah. This is actually a pretty nice road, too. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. You're just on it for a while. Yeah. That doesn't bother me. That's yeah. why I'm like, I, you know, I worked up here, so I know all these other ways to, you know. Yeah, to head up. Yeah, this guy, too, boy. He's, uh, I wonder if they're riding together. <laughs> you surprised I do this back way? Uh, no, I just cause used to work up here, so it's normal. I don't think I've ever taken this way, honestly, in all the years when I used to, I would, when I I would used to work up here. I would expect you did. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not common knowledge. That, yeah. You know, well, that's what it, cause knowing that that's a way to get off the highway, you think, you know, yeah. you would think you can get back on right there, and yeah. you can't. So if you're going to go west, and that would work fine, but I don't know what this guy's waiting for. Is he waiting for us? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, well, I'm like, uh, so straight. He yeah. got there before me. Yeah, I remember when I was a tech and used to work on some of the equipment up here. When uh, I remember when they built Central City Parkway, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to take that. And then I, I think the canyon was closed. And uh, so I had to take Central City, and after I took that, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. I'm never taking the canyon again. <laughs> the hell yeah. Yeah. The only reason I take it is just like when we do stuff like this. Yeah, like, kind of a scenic. the highway's yeah. super backed up, or, yeah. you know, just that, you know, because 119, like, it just, like yeah. you said, it's just too much traffic. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that we stopped. I'm like, I really think we were going to be driving in the rain. Yeah, me too. Uh, I definitely didn't want to get into that. Well, there was a, a few drops here and there, then all of a sudden it was like more and more where you start to worry. 
Now, I don't know exactly what exit we got to get off of for McDonald's, so... Yeah, for that, for Evergreen, yeah, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to pay attention here. I think it's coming soon, so... Or is it tie us on? Yeah, right here. Okay, so we'll just have to pay attention because I know Evergreen. We're gonna stop for some uh, for some breakfast since we left kind of early this morning. <clears throat> now, this wasn't too bad at all. Uh -uh. Cop here on the left. Cop, yeah. yeah. Definitely looks a little better headed uh, headed east. <laughs> yeah. All right, back on I-70. Hey guys, I'm back from my last uh, couple miles home here. Glad we uh, decided not to tempt it and uh, turn around. We uh, after we stopped and grabbed a quick bite to eat, it was drizzling on us for a couple of minutes there and. Uh, while we were uh, eating breakfast, uh, my brother's wife sent him a, uh, a text message and called him. There was a flash flood warning north of Douglas County, kind of the county where my brother and I live. So glad we took off. You know, I, I checked the weather, and it was supposed to rain a little bit later in the day, but, you know, you, ne you never know with the weather. So I'm glad we turned around. Uh, I was going to head over to his place and... Uh, we're going to take his electric light out for a little bit, just for a couple of miles, just to get it out. He just posted it to Psycho Trader to sell it. So, um, but with the weather, we just didn't want to, you know, we don't want to push it. I got about, I'm 13 miles from my brother, and it's about a 20, 25 minute ride. So, uh, I just didn't want to head over there, take his bike out, then get hit with rain on the way back. So, we just split off. So, but, uh, yeah, it was actually, I mean, aside from the weather and a little bit of drizzling on us, it was actually a pretty nice ride. I mean, we didn't head out to where we wanted to, but still, I can't complain. Still had a nice ride. Uh, I gotta say one thing, it was definitely chilly in the mountains. Uh, we were headed down, boy, it, uh, I zipped all my vents up. It had gotten pretty cold, and you could feel it, though, uh, as we dropped in altitude and got lower that the uh, uh, temperature warmed up. Even now, I actually opened my vents up a little bit again to get some air in. I mean, when you get down a uh, lower elevation, it's definitely not as uh, as cold. So, it's not guys. Well, hey, so it wasn't the ride we were hoping for, but still had a good time. So if you liked the video, give me a like and subscribe. This is Tattooed Alex. Thanks for watching.